This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time for the Red Bull X 2014 Junior Championship. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Now the carts are out of the way. It's time it's time to try out a real racing car. The Gran Turismo Red Bull X 2014 Junior you'll be driving in this class packs a 250 horsepower 2 liter flat 4 engine. You might feel that's a little underpowered, but bear in mind that she only weighs 550 kilograms. Also, unlike the cars you've been driving until now, this car features full suspension and a 6-speed gearbox, so you'll need to develop some more sophisticated driving skills. It's going to be important now to learn how to make the most of the downforce being provided by the aero parts. Learn to ride the wind. Anyway, let's get you behind the wheel. Finish the championship in third place or better to proceed. So this is a 5-race championship event in which the... Okay, that's basically everything that Sebastian told us. So we don't really need to read, read out the description in the bottom because sebastian kind of tells us in further detail so we have silverstone national motegi east grand valley east rome circuit and brands hatch grand prix again we're given a loner red bull x 2014 vehicle yes subaru power wait why are we talking about subarus <laughs> why are we talking about wakali would get a rally look out also, it's, it's this song. I don't know what the name of this song is, but I forgot that this song in particular is what plays during the Sebastian Vettel challenges, or the Red Bull X challenges, I mean. Flat 4 engine, yep, in line 4. So anyway, Silverstone National Circuit, which is an interesting circuit. Oh, standing start, fuck yeah. I forgot about this. Dude, FIA races with this car are so fun. Oh, god damn it. Why are the AI braking so much? It's not even a section where you brake. Like, they're already... They already made the corner, and yet... That's right. The brakes are so good on this car. Also, I can't adjust brake balance, unlike GT Sport. So I can't put the brake balance to, like, negative 2 or negative 3. Well, because of the weight. Francisco. Also, yeah, this is going to be a walk in the park, as you can tell. I mean, standing start. This car is easy to drive, yes. But even, the, even with the easiness of driving this car in particular, there's still a, a, a fine art that you have to kind of master in order to get the most out of it. Turn one is just completely flat. Yeah, it's basically a hypercart, but like you said, there you go. Going off track a little bit, but that's fine. Also, like, in order to get the most out of it, some corners you have to take like really tight with this car in particular. Knock the ballers off the side of the course, but that's okay. Oh yeah, Formula Renault is a thing. I forgot that that category existed. Like, Renault in junior categories of formulas is kind of dying out. It's like 3.5 doesn't really exist anymore. I think 2.0 is still, still around, but... Yeah, I kind of forgot about that series. It's a shame, because three. I feel like 3.5 were some of the coolest junior cars ever. You're only good with high speed. I see. Yeah, like I said, even though the car is easy to drive, there's still like a fine art to actually getting the most out of it. And that art for me is not driving in bumper cam or chase cam, I mean, because I suck at this camera angle. Capering? Mm, it wouldn't be that bad. Like, I know some people like to drive uh, chase cam because they like to see the rotation of the car and everything, but for me, it's just, like, I need to see every little detail of the road ahead and, like, as low to the ground as possible. That's just the way I kind of... That's the way I operate, essentially. Also, we have a huge lead over the rest of the pack. So 
easy dub. Go along the wall to celebrate with the boys that are not there. Yay, race number one done. Out of five. So, Cu Cuervas, second, LeBron, third. LeBron? What? You went from playing basketball to driving Red Bulls. Nice. Let's go, LeBron. Do I have a thumbnail at this track? Mm, I think brands would make the most sense. Yo, what's up, domestic Canadian? Oh, yes, dude. Sky's GT6 open lobbies were some of the best, man. Like, I I made, I was so, unfor it was so unfortunate that I, I joined his community so late. But, dude, his lobbies were cracking, bro. Like, also, we're on soft tires? The game gave us soft tires. Okay. I'm not complaining. Also, we can change them. Which, whatever. We'll keep them on softs. I forget. It's the same car. We don't have to change the uh, settings all the time. So, good start. Half hour online class? I wish my classes were half an hour, bro. I really wish they were. Like, some of them, like, are... Most of them are an hour and 15 minutes, and, like, I can get past that, because some of them are pretty interesting, but then the ones that are boring, dude, it feels like an eternity. Also, stuck behind all the AI cards here. Not very pleasant. Hey, Java, what's up, dude? Fourth hour of your class out of six? Oof. Well, you're taking a winter course, aren't you? Then that's why. Your daily? Oh god. One fucking course. That much. 7 a.m. to 3 30. Oh god. Well, during this online school lockdown COVID shit, I'm like taking five classes right now. Unfortunately, a winter class of mine got canceled, so I have, I'm I'm trying to take my last semester, which I'm hoping is in person. We'll see what the world is like in the, in the second half of the year. Um, I'm trying to take my last semester with the least amount of load as possible because, dude, I, I'm I'm at the point where I'm kind of done with school. Like, as much as I love education, like I'm I'm so done. Like online schooling made me made me over the shit. Not much stuff with you, handsome. Don't make me blush, Java. Um. Now we're just chilling, bro, playing some GT6. Almost done with the game. Hopefully, I doubt we're getting 100% today, but because this will be a bit of a shorter stream than I want it to be, but... But hey, if we can make up as much ground as we can for this game, so the finale can be one whole stream, that'd be cool. Oh my god, Celica. Dude, don't... Don't let me get me started with those sim racing elitists, bro. Like, dude... All those sim racing elitists who say that cockpit is the only way to go or whatever are usually people who who wreck all the time or who have like a like less than a thousand i rating in i racing or they're like a CC driver in GT Sport because dude like I'm gonna use okay so Petter Solberg obviously using Chase Cam because it's his preferred cam to see what's going on with the car I can name three people off the top of my head in GT Sport who use Chase Cam. Fucking Lamb, Dev Sun, and Pelican. They all use Chase Cam, dude. And they're all really goddamn quick. Exactly! Fucking Deffy uses Chase Cam. I'm watching his stream and I'm like, how the fuck do you do it? <laughs> it's all preference at the end of the day. You use Copy Cam? You're still quick, man. You're still fast. Why? Because obviously you're you're fast because you 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 have skill, but you're fast in cockpit view because that's your preferred camera point of view. Me? Lamb doesn't use chase? I thought he used chase cam. I could have sworn I saw him use chase cam once. Me, it's bumper cam. I like bumper cam because I like, I like to get down to the very ground and see every little detail of what's ahead of me. And I don't mind the mirror either because honestly, drivers behind me, I don't give a fuck about them. Like, you can have a driver all, up, all in my ass, but I don't care. Like, I don't really give a shit. iMorph? Oh, yes! iMorph does use Chase Cam! 
And Cooper? Oh, I, I haven't really watched much of Cooper's streams. I only followed him yesterday when Cyrus raided him. Yeah, Pelican. We, we joke about Pelican using Chase Cam all the time. Even though, you know, we obviously we love him at DNA. But, like, what cracks me up was, like, when we raided his... I raided his little brother once, right? And his little brother was playing AC with Chase Cam. And we were just like, oh, this is how you know th he's related to Pelican. Because he's using fucking Chase Cam, too. Just like his big brother. And right for what? Okay, yeah, I, I didn't know that part. Then again, Pelican's a freaking monster, dude. And we love him. I'm trying to read Java's comment. Cooper? Oh, no. I don't sleep on Cooper, bro. Cooper Cooper is fast as fuck. Cooper's quick. No denying that one at all, dude. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Like, it doesn't matter what camera you use. I just hate when people say that you know, it's just gatekeeping at the end of the day. Like it's the same thing when people complain that like certain games aren't 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 are shitty because they're not a real sim or whatever. Like okay, sure. Like there are some sims that we we absolutely should shit on because they're absolute garbage. Like look at the one that Jimmer bought as a joke. I can't remember what it's called. The one that was like ten thousand dollars for like a business model or for like the business version or whatever. I can't remember what the game is called. But like, Forza GT, Assetto Corsa, iRacing, it's just like, they're all fun. Like, at the end of the day, sim racing should just be fun. And who cares about what sim you like the most? It's just have fun with it. Sims are awesome. It's just like the metal community. The metal community could be so elitist sometimes. The gaming community could be elitist with like, genres and like, FPS games. Like, which FPS is the best? And like, every single, like... Every single community is super elitist and gatekeeping, and I, I hate it. I seriously hate it, because it's just like... It's so fucking lame, dude. I, I keep forgetting. This is the same car. We don't need to keep changing settings. Bumper cam. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I just like bumper cam because, like I said, I can see every little detail of the road in front of me. Because for me, like, as much as I love... The bonnet cam, hood cam, roof cam, whatever you want to call it. As much as I love this camera in particular, it's still impeding those that little bit of space on the ground there for me to see what exactly every little pixel that's in front. You wish you had a G27? Or any wheel for that matter. G27s are kind of... I mean, if you could find one in good shape still, get one, but... Like... I feel like they're kind of like their end of, end of life now. Possibly. They're kind of like tanks, but... I don't know. I, I feel like everyone that I know is who who owns a G27, like like Rhino, like... And Mr. Arrow HD, I feel like they're at that point already where the G27 is starting to become like... Not really a paperweight, but starting to kind of die a little bit. You get me? I use good cab. Or you know what's the worst Ben? when like I, I literally had people brag that they've won more FIA races than me when it's like alright dude you literally run against like shitty players that are all D rated. Of course you're going to win FIA races. Or you run nothing but dailies. Of course you're going to easily win. There's talented drivers in the dailies, but for the most part, if you're running like daily A, or you're running like daily B at midnight, where nobody's on, you're going to win easily, of course. Like, alright. Like, of course I'm never, of course I don't win in, in the top split, because the top split has a bunch of amazing drivers. I don't care if I don't win. I'm just there... I'm just there to have fun. Yeah. Wheaties. Fucking Benji in the chat. He's fast as fuck. I guarantee you, if Benji played FIA, 
he would be able to be a top split and maybe beat some of those guys like Lopez and them. He's that fucking good. But you know why he doesn't? Because he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to make the game more uh, a chore. He only wants to have fun playing Gran Turismo. And that's respectable. But there's definitely... If anybody thinks that, that, that the current FIA lineup is like the only lineup that's possible, they're wrong. Like, there's always going to be somebody out there who is really goddamn quick, but they just don't want to play competitively. And that's understandable. At the end of the day, games should be about fun. That's my philosophy, at least. I understand that people are competitive by nature and can be, and want to be, like, the best in everything, but, like, for me, it's just, like, I just want to have fun playing just sim racing in general. That's all I care about. And if I get my ass kicked all the time, I don't care. Like, I... One person if I face Chris. And two. Yeah, exactly. Dude, like, Jason, that's that's amazing. Oh, Java. No, 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 Java. Worse than B, B and C flexes is daily A flexing. People who spent... Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I, I was confused for a minute. I was like, are we at Grand Valley Speedway? Um, people who flex winning daily A. It's just a meme race. And yes, there, there's some people who literally flex winning daily A. Getting, like, hundreds of wins there. I'm just like, bro, you're racing... N like, dude. The... I hate... Look, I high he like obviously you guys know I hate being super elitist and I hate being like Look at us, look how good we are or whatever. Literally the only time that Daily A had like a good crop of drivers was probably when the game first came out. And then the special stage route X Daily A, when we did a fucking takeover of, of the entire of the top split. Where we had myself, Gearza. Cards fan, optimal. I think you were in there, Java. Uh, Super Chicken. Literally all the top players in the four GT Wheaties. We literally took over the fucking top split in, in Daily A. We just had a we just had a good old time. Sam of us in the N100 Daily. <laughs> oh man, I I wasn't around for that, unfortunately. I joined the game too late when. Um, when the last time they had Samba Bus as a daily race. That would have been amazing to do. But yeah, dude, there there's literally some people who flex on on winning daily A. I'm just like Like, okay, dude, like may, I get it, that's your thing and that's all you like to run, but like don't don't put other people down for winning less races than you when it's like Statistically, you've won more races than me, but in reality, they're not really races. Like, I could literally go into a... I, I can go into a fun lobby if I wanted to. Like, 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 like a fun Friday night lobby. Win a bunch of races against, like, people who play the game casually or people who play it for fun. And just brag about that all, all day. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything. I don't know if I, I don't know if I had any influence on that Java because I was streaming, or what. But like, dude, the fact that we had a takeover of, of that whole daily race. Oh yeah, and also Mr. Arrow HD because he had enough DR. He was like driver number twelve, but he just made it into some of those races with us. And oh my god, dude, they were just so fun. It's funny because like we we're all homies in that one race, and we were just like, okay. We have one random in here, and it was like it was just some one random dude that we were just like, all right. He, he, he's close to causing the big one and he's kind of driving a little recklessly, but for the most part We're all just chilling and having fun here. I Still have that stream on my hard drive. I'll, I still need to upload it and make a make a um, highlight video out of it I'm just too lazy I'm kind of like missed the words like all right. I have all these I have all this race footage that I need to upload onto YouTube and I'm just really fucking lazy and I, I can't be bothered to do so Oh my god, really? Yeah, Mar exactly. Marvin, dude, Marvin is like the perfect example of having fun. I have like three inspirations for, for content creating, right? It's Jimmy, there's Jimmy Broadbent, 
Rhino and Marvin in particular because Jimmy was like the success story Rhino is was like the okay I've been watching him since 2011 and like I always wanted to do what he did which is just create content and have fun and then Marvin is just like the story of like you don't have to have a big following and you don't have to be the best at, a, at any of the games you play but as long as you have fun and you're likable and, and you have a personality that's all that matters like I specifically watched I don't really watch people stream solely for the fact that they're good I mainly watch them if they have personality because I, I care about people having fun and, and shit like like the best kind of streamer where like you have personality and you're super talented is like Cyrus Cyrus is like the, the he's like the perfect example and, and that's why he's one of my favorite streamers and one of my good friends Freeman Phoenix on kudos okay I'll I'll, I'll look him up when I'm done with this. Oh, Jesus. Too close to the wall. See, that's why I don't like Cockpit View. I couldn't see all those inches of the wall and the... and the, what's it called? The runoff and shit. Not the runoff, the sausage. Same here. Whoa. Easy. There we go. Hardly see you in my... I didn't even know you streamed Java. I didn't even know you, you actually streamed on Twitch. I don't think I follow you on there, so I have I actually have to follow you now. Dude, Sai is amazing. Cyrus is... He's the homie. Java 350Z, yes. Totally. Bro, there, there are some amazing... There are some amazing um, Kudos Prime's um, graphs. So I guess Freeman Phoenix, Momos, Mad Knight Mopar, Mr. Cuts, um, who else? Uh, Cole 45. Like, dude, there's just it's just baffling to look at these guys' DR SR resets because it's just like, dude, haven't you guys learned already? <laughs> yeah, because all I'm going to say about the matter with, with him is just like, it's sad about him because he's likable, but it turns out that he's a, he, he, I'm going to say he's a fucking asshole. Literally, he was attacked, like, he threw me into the mix with his whole drama on, on Twitter when it came to like him attacking Key 25, Adventure Racing, Celica and everybody. He threw me into the mix. I'm like, all right, dude. I gotta call you out. I'm like, you know what, dude? Like, you you, you claim you claim this like you, you like you claim you claim that they're bullying, but you bully people when you you know you bully people yourself and you make sus comments and then you you say that oh because I drive a direct drive wheel, you you, you know if you drive a G29 that means that you're poor and shit. Like, okay, that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. He's probably gonna make a parody video. He's probably gonna go on the stream and be like, like I got my haters. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Investigation. And he's gonna go and say like how and like that's the thing, Tuz. He's probably gonna go and say like how long have you been hating me? But it's like, dude, in reality, it's like no, you turned your, you literally turned your back on your fans and like and, and with your logic because I drive a Thrustmaster TGT, I'm somehow inferior to you. Anyone who doesn't drive a direct drive wheel, like you're an asshole. It's just like, all right, dude, then. You're basically throwing me into the mix, and then you threw me into the drama mix with the shit on Twitter with Adventure Racing and Key and Cyrus, so like, okay. Whatever, like, I don't give a shit, dude. It doesn't bug me. Dude, he attacked everybody! And they're not even good attacks, it's, it's like childish insults, like, haha, I fucked your mom last night, haha, <laughs> like... Oh, all right, dude. High school shit. Like, all right. Very nice. That's all I'm gonna say on the matter. If you want to, I'm not. I'm not engaging with him. That's all I'm gonna say about. It. I'm not gonna bring him up again. I don't give a shit if he has anything to say. I don't fucking care. He lit. Like, he's 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 irrelevant. He's super irrelevant. So yeah, I I, I don't give a shit.
Yeah, exactly. He force chains people, but then he has his PayPal in his bio. Oh my god, dude. I just realized something. We never had a junior race around Brands GP in the, in FIA. That would be incredible. A junior race around here would be free. Like, it would tear your freaking head off. Am I playing on PC? No, I'm playing on PS3. RCP, RCPS3 or whatever the emulator is called is not fully there yet. Francisco, you hit the nail on the head, bro. You hit the fucking nail on the head. It's like it's like CSGO skins or like Fortnite characters. Like, at the end of the day, like, no one gives a fuck. Like, dude, Lamb. Lamb is the best example of a, of a player who plays with a fucking DualShock 4 and yet... And yet, dude, he's... He's a fucking world champion. Like, your equipment doesn't make you shit. Me having me having a fucking Yeti mic and a GoPro Hero 4 as my camera, that doesn't make me a good streamer. My equipment is only like 5% of all of that. Anyways, final lap. Sweeties, thank you. Timmy Hill's fucking setup was like a shitty old laptop in like a Logitech G27 and Kyle Busch had a whole a whole Carolina Simworks setup. And yet Timmy Hill was winning um iRacing NASCAR events when they had when when the world was first during the lockdown. Exactly. You pass Grove on the outside and you're on a pad, he's on a DD wheel. Grove is a hell of a talent. And that DD wheel is his preference. Your preference is playing on a pad. That's what makes you fast. I missed the apex completely. That's fine. Better wheels don't make, yeah, exactly. Better wheels don't make you a better driver. It's just the feedback you get from it. Maybe that feedback might make it good, but like, dude, I guarantee you anyone... I guarantee you somebody can literally go and, and, and win. I use a T150, and, and Wheaties was at one point... Well, I, even if it's a meme race, that St. Croix race in the F1500s, he's still a top 16 superstar and made it into there. And also recently in the... Um, what was it? Blue Moon and the... Uh, what's it called? Super formulas at Bathurst? You were still a top 16 superstar on a T-150. You didn't get there because you had a freaking direct drive wheel. Oh, you didn't make it to Blue Moon? Damn. Well, you made it to, um, to Bathurst at least. Anyways, let's see what Sebastian has to say. I think it's the same thing as before. Oh, that's right. Price car. Repeat of the same thing. P6 there? Nice. Peace direct drive wheels don't direct your drive. That's a good one. So that's fine. You don't have to be the best driver ever. I know I'm not the best sim racer. I don't give a shit. I'm I'm just there in the sim racing world to have fun. Congratulations. This stage is now cleared. Let's move on to the next stage. Do we get any more dialogue? No, we don't, because he already made the formula car speech and everything but with that being said 89 percent of the way down 11 more to go in this game and we are about to be done with gran turismo 6 i've never beat this game 100 before so it's going to be really cool to do that